Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. This video today was put together by Mike and Alex of the Bob and Brad crew. Mm -hmm. Both are physical therapist assistants and both have been providing treatments to our patients for years. They do... Fantastic work. Fantastic yeah, work. We're very happy with all the work with their patients. We have reviewed and approved all of their material that they're bringing up. Uh, so they're showing you our treatment through them with their experience, and it's been a, exactly. a wonderful. So make sure you subscribe to the Bob and Brad Crew channel, in which they do reviews of products that keep you healthy, fit, and pain-free. They handle all of our new products now. Enjoy the video. Good luck. Hello everyone, I'm Alex, physical therapist assistant. I'm Mike, physical therapist assistant. And this is the Total Hip Replacement Fitness Program Activity Do's and Don'ts three months plus after surgery. So you could be three months, six months, eight months, this applies to you. We're not gonna do nevers because we think you would not do the nevers anyway. Yeah, the don'ts, the don'ts anyway, yeah. The don'ts. All right, let's start with the do's. Number one, please keep walking. That's just a given. We've stressed that enough. Yep, still keep active. Just do what distances you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is cycling. So whether you are on a stationary bike due to balance or if you have good balance and you're back on a nor normal bicycle, that is fine. Yep. Uh, if you have some type of special... Watch your precautions if you have one of those high bars, actually, because my mother is actually getting her hip done, mm -hmm. and she likes to bike, and she's active. She's not that old yet, and she's buying a bike where the middle bar is not high. It's low now, uh, so she doesn't have to lift her hip over eventually. Good point. Have you so ever get a different bicycle. Have you ever air cycled? Like this? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think you'd catch on to it. All right. <laughs> Number three, swimming. This is a great exercise to do. Swimming. Get out there. You should be able to do... You know, all your strokes. I can't name if many you, of them. But the breath stroke, the front crawl, the back stroke, the butterfly. The front crawl. You made that one up. That's no, not You never heard the front crawl? Freestyle, Liz said. Oh, freestyle. That's probably the other All one. right. Uh, if you never swam before, you probably don't want to start yeah. now. But anyway, number four is cross-country skiing. You can do this if you're doing more of a flat cross-country yep, skiing. You do not want to do a cross-country skiing that's mixed with hills because if you happen to fall, that would be bad. Yeah, this is, you know, you got to be the best judge of, you know, what's safe yep. cross-country skiing. If you did skiing. it before and you yeah. were doing more flatter surfaces, stuff you're comfortable with, that'll be yeah. fine. Low-impact aerobics. I mean, there's many things, you know, that you could decide here. <sighs> yep, elliptical-type things, walking, yep. different exercise machines. Uh, Stair-stepper, I guess, would be borderline. Again, let pain be your guide, or if you feel your hip getting tight, you know, don't push it past, you know, the tight feeling. So. And you can definitely start doing, like, weight training in a gym again eventually. You're mm -hmm. probably just going to go to what's comfortable, probably much more yep. machine-based or really light weight-based. You're not going to be going back to doing, yep. you know, squats and yep. stuff. More so. reps versus, you know, probably doing max yep. weight. Number six, canoeing and kayaking. I mean, your hip is a very movable joint. I mean, it should be able to tolerate getting in and out of the canoe, the kayak, sitting there for... Yep, once you're past your precautionary stage, a canoe is going to be a lot easier on you because you sit higher in a canoe than a kayak. A kayak is very low, and you're seated like this. So hey, it's going to be pretty again. low. <laughs> <laughs> a canoe, you know, it's more like me sitting on this. This yeah. is obviously exaggerated, but you're higher up. Yep. So it's going to be a lot easier to start with canoeing. Some people will have a lot of difficulty and won't be able to do that. I mean, yeah. Just so you know. So get a boat with a motor on it. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Number seven, last one, golfing. I mean, you should be able to golf. Yep, slow impact activity. I mean, there's a little bit of rotation in there. Yep. As long as you're past your precautions and it feels yep. fine, you should be good to go. I would say warm up. You know, warm up before your golf would be a good idea. Yeah. Don'ts, number one, contact sports. I don't really think we should even said this. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to planning on getting out there playing hockey, football. No I mean, MMA fighting or wrestling yeah. either. Self-explanatory. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already know this, but yeah, you should not be doing anything contact with hip replacement. If you went for three months not trying to dislocate your hip, I mean, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be playing tackle football. Yeah. All right, number two, baseball. Yeah, it's baseball is not, too. I mean, it's non-contact, but if you get hit with a ball going fast or you're yep. trying to, I mean, you're running at baseball. Yep, so running, baseball yep. is not an option. If you're playing like really slow pitch softball and you don't really have to run, right. okay. Have but somebody run for you. You can swing. Yeah, hit, you swing. Be the DH and have someone run for you. Yep. Number three, soccer. 
too much cutting, twisting, you know, too many movements that can happen. Yeah, basically combined movements. Any sports where you're doing a lot of lateral movement, twisting, jumping, different things. Yeah. Soccer has all that, so it's yep. a really good one. Jogging, you know. You're getting the force of yep. the flight pattern. You're getting more yeah. impact on your bones and your joints with yep. jogging compared to walking. So stick to walking. If you, walking gets boring, go on a at an incline on a treadmill or yeah. walk up a hill yeah. slowly. Just no jogging. Jogging is not really recommended after your hip replacement. Don't jog, swim. Or quit jogging, start swimming. Ride your bicycle, something like All that. Right. Basketball, you know, this one, I think you could still get out in there and shoot hoops as long as you're not doing jump shots. You, you could know, play you could a horse, yeah, if yep. you're just standing. No jumping up and down, no actually playing a game, nothing yep. like that. But, yeah, basically it's, it's a high impact when you're jumping and running mm. that much. Yep. So. Six is heavy lifting, kind of like what I said earlier. Um, you can return to, you know, the gym if you were at a gym before. Just figure out what machines work for you and you feel safe with. Yep. We do not recommend doing anything crazy heavy anymore. Obviously, whatever you're doing before, wreck your hip eventually. M make sure you can control the weight. You know, don't put too much weight on that you're going to lose control. As long as you can control the weight, I mean, that's what matters. And if you need someone with a personal trainer, like if you're going that route, tell them right away, like, hey, I had a hip done. They need to adapt to you. Do not let them make up their own things yep. that break precautions or things you're not able to do. And if they doubt it, show them the scar. I'll never <laughs> question you again. Number seven. I'll just pull on your pants in front of them. Easy. <laughs> Number seven, high impact aerobics. I mean, the opposite of you know, what we discussed in your low impact. I no mean, insanity workouts yeah. or aerobic classes, jumping up and down, Burpees, any of that type of stuff. That type yeah, of stuff no yeah. CrossFit. And it's too much impact on a joint replacement. Yep. And eight, we've already hit on jumping activities. I'm sorry, your jumping days are probably over. No base jumping anymore. Yep. Or out of an airplane. That's right. Or any of that stuff. Yep. Sorry. All right, so thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> Subscribe to us and check out more videos related to the Total Hip Replacement Fitness Program on bobandbride.com slash programs. Thank you. Thanks.